All right, this will be a short one. Uh, if I turn on Polyframe for my object and I go into my, say, my clay buildup brush and I turn on the Sculptors Pro button, uh, which if you're new to ZBrush, you may not know what that is, but look up Sculptors Pro on my channel and there'll be all sorts of videos on it. Essentially what it allows you to do, if we go in here to BS. H for snake hook brush with Sculptors Pro turned on. As you're pulling out, it'll automatically tessellate on the fly your geometry, as opposed to if we didn't do that, you know, kind of really skewing and warping your geometry and then having to re-dynamesh in order to adjust. You can just turn Sculptors Pro on and again, it'll tessellate on the fly. Um, and you can turn that on for a lot of brushes. For example, clay buildup, we'll go ahead and do. So I'll just go hit Alt B for my hotkey for clay buildup. That's a custom hotkey, it won't work for you, but feel free to set that if you'd like. And you're gonna see now I'm sculpting with Sculptors Pro. Sculptors Pro overview really quickly. If we go in here to the stroke menu, there is a Sculptors Pro menu in here. And by default, adapt to size is turned on. So you're gonna see as I'm sculpting, I'm getting this much geometry. If I tap S on my keyboard and then make my draw size smaller, you're gonna see I'm gonna get a much denser mesh or tap S and make it bigger, or just go up here to draw size and make it bigger. Uh, you're gonna see I'm gonna get a lot less dense geometry here. Um, if you turn adapt to size off, now it'll keep it whatever polygon uh, density you want. So if I change my subdivided size down smaller, uh, I'll get smaller geometry. Let's go ahead and change it even smaller than that. There we go. So now the smaller I change this, the more dense my geometry will be regardless of my brush size. Uh, one thing to mention is in ZBrush 2023, as of this recording, you can turn this all the way down to 0 0.01. So that is very, very dense geometry that you can sculpt with now. Um, so we've used this subdivide size, we've made a bunch of different uh, varying degrees or varying density of meshes over here. So I can take either, I can click and drag off of this picker and like say choose this area and you're gonna see as I'm moving over the various densities, it's changing my subdivide size for, if I had a depth size on for my brush size, but since I have that off, it's just choosing the, uh, the uh, subdivide size, uh, you can see it updating over there on the left. So if I choose this kind of loose uh, density over here, I can just let go. And then as I'm brushing, it'll go ahead and brush with that density um, as I'm updating the mesh. And again, uh, you can choose to click and drag off the picker or you can click and drag right off the slider and it'll do the same thing. So if I choose a little bit of a higher density over here, you can go through and now you can sculpt at that higher density. Very similar, if you remember, uh, if I control drag, that'll re mesh my mesh. So if you go over here to geometry, Dynamesh, same thing over here. There's a resolution slider and a resolution picker. If I do the picker and go to the um, this area here and control drag, it'll Dynamesh at that density. If I go and drag off the slider this time and then go to this higher density and then control drag or Dynamesh, uh, it'll Dynamesh at that higher density. So that it was in ZBrush 2022. This uh, underneath Stroke Sculptors Pro, uh, the picker and being able to drag off and choose your density that you're using with Sculptors Pro has been added in ZBrush 2023. So feel free to play with that. And remember, there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with Sculptors Pro. You can go in here and you can paint uh, with Sculptors Pro. So if I turn on uh, RGB, for example, first let's go in here to color fill object with white, choose a red color here. And then as I'm, um, going through here and sculpting, I can poly paint. And again, if I want to do uh, sculpt and poly paint at a different size, just come in here and drag off of here and that'll do it uh, at that different size. And if you want to be a little bit more uh, fine tuned with your edges, just come in here and choose the picker here. And it's like, you know what? That's not quite as fine as I would like. So you can start there and then just drag that a little to the left. And now you'll have that high density uh, sculpting and painting from Sculptors Pro.